All right, well, I'm getting ready to head to Florida tomorrow. Going to do a little bit of predator hunting, some hog hunting. Pretty excited to go out there and uh, see what we can do. But first, I'm going to check on my rifles before I load them up. Um, I'm going to take in my Rock River. Um, I've got it suppressed, run a loop hold on this one. On the other Rock River I'm bringing, it's also suppressed, but I'm going to be running a thermal scope on that one. So I'm going to bring a bunch of equipment. Also bringing a uh, Taurus Raging Hunter 44, and that's topped with a loop hold. Uh, Delta Point Pro, so pretty excited to see if I can get a uh, get a hog with that. And I'm gonna bring my recurve, so I'm gonna have a little bit, a myriad of weapons, from old school to new school. Well, since I'm gonna check everything before we roll, um, one of the handiest tools that I use um, is just setting it up on a lead sled. Um, I'm gonna be shooting off a bog death grip once I get out in the field, but this is so similar to that um, as I've got the uh, the gun tucked in. You know what I mean? Uh, basically a tight grip on the front. I've just got it set in the back of this lead set, but I'll feel no recoil at all. Even though 223s recoil almost zero, um, I can concentrate more on my sight picture and just check my zero on everything. So whether it's the Caldwell lead sled or the Hydra sled, which you fill up with water and you don't need the lead bags, um, either one of them are really great to check your rifle on. Oh yes. This one's ready. Doesn't need any more shooting on this one. All right, this one's dead on, doesn't need any adjustment, except I need to make sure I clean it and take the ammunition out before I uh, put it in the airplane. Um, and even though I knew the guns were on, I always like to check them. That way, in case I miss, not that I would ever do that. Um, if my editor shows me missing something here, I'm gonna be very upset. But uh, I'll know it's my fault and not the firearms. All right, now we're gonna check the thermal. And we'll go ahead and power that up. And even though it's daytime, it will pick up the heat coming off the steel plate that I'm checking it on at 100 yards. And I'll be able to see if it's on or not. And then I'm gonna have to go up close and rip off the uh, round out of the old 44. Another great feature is this wheel. It allows me to make minute adjustments on my elevation um, when I want to get zeroed in. So now I'm going to fire a shot off here. Bang! All three are on. 